Windows 10 is now available for smartphones as a technical preview. It offers a few features including this expanded action center with three rows of quick features which you can set in the settings instead of just four as before. The settings itself is also redesigned giving you this menu which makes a lot more sense than the previous one. It couches a lot more settings within other settings but it gives you a good description and it's easy to navigate. On the screen you can see you now have filled lead images. Going into the Photos app you can see you get not only images stored on the device but also your OneDrive stored photos by default. Mine go back a long way as you can see. I haven't used some of that storage in a while but it's nice to have. And then going back to the main screen again you see the same familiar tile layout. You can jump into messages just to take a look at this other new feature, the keyboard. So the keyboard is pretty much the same but it has this new little nubbin which uh, remembers the sort of the tracking button that you would see on like a ThinkPad. And it gives you the ability to, if you type some text, you can then click right or drag left and you can go back and forth through the text. If you have a big block, you can go up and down. And it makes it really easy to position the cursor exactly where you want it, which has been a problem on touch devices to date.